are going to get quite a bit of rain maybe to, to get going. Yo, know, they sure will. We're going to see a good amount of rain as we go into tonight. We have a front moving through now. Majority of today was dry. And so when we're getting the rain this weekend, a lot of it's going to happen through the overnight and then we'll have more dry time tomorrow. So I think for the most part, our weekend, we have plenty of time to be outside uh, unless it's going to be out late to early in the morning. You see still some very light rain coming through about the light right here. 45 degrees heaviest of the rain going through the coast range right now and starting to approach parts of the Willamette Valley. Behind the front, notice this big dry slot right here. That's going to pretty much be over us as we go through our Sunday. And then behind that, we have another system that's going to arrive on Monday. Here's what we have right now, though. You can see that it's a little more fragmented now down to the south. Uh, it was more organized about an hour ago as that front it continues to through. Uh, heavy rain there though through the coast range now coming off the coast range into the valley. So Dallas, uh, McMinnville, uh, Yamhill up through about Forest Grove or so we're starting to see some rain and he pretty heavy rain uh, and it's uh, usually uh, uh, pretty heavy right around this section right here when it starts coming over the coast range like that. Okay still dry though in Portland. I mentioned about midnight or so it's getting pretty you may see it slightly before midnight, uh, but be prepared for that. Real quick, about a quarter of an inch coming out of Newport and Astoria. So I anticipate our rain total is about one tenth of an inch to maybe about a quarter of an inch when it's all said and done tonight and through the morning hours tomorrow. 44 degrees though right now in Portland. Southeast breeze at 10 miles per hour. May gust to about 20 or 25 here. You can see the current wind speeds come out the Glen Jackson Bridge about 25. Troutdale 23. Corbett about 20. So it is picking up at times. You can see the wind gust forecast now. So we went to our current observation to now a weather model what it's going to project. And uh, as we go through the time, you can notice that uh, it slows down a bit. Here's 6 a.m. We kind of remove that strong wind and we see something a little more gentle. Wind shifts a little bit too. Uh, we get to about 630 there, not dealing with much. Uh, maybe some gusts there along the Oregon coast around Portland and surrounding communities. It's not going to be too breezy for tomorrow. All right, so here's the day plan for your Sunday. We'll keep some clouds in the forecast, maybe some rain in the morning for the coast, maybe a sun break there. Temperatures in the mid 40s for the gorge. I'll tell you this coming out of the coast tomorrow, um, maybe some very uh, strong waves coming in. We do have a high surf warning until 6 p.m., maybe a few sneaker waves. Uh, and some hazardous surf. So if you'd like to go out to the coast tomorrow for the weekend uh, for your Sunday, just be careful there along the coast. Futurecast will help show that front move on through. Uh, pretty dry early tomorrow morning, a couple spotty showers, and then we set up for a stretch of rainy conditions. Uh, Monday all the way through to about Wednesday. You can see the rain there on Monday, some heavy rain on Tuesday, and then another round on Wednesday there. I think by the time we wrap up the week, uh, especially by the time we get to about Thursday probably, we may see about an inch to two inches of rain in the valley. All right, Thursday may bring some rain late at night at 10 p.m., but I think a good chunk of the day is going to be dry out there. All right, let me show you the rain total forecast as we go to the overnight hours. As I mentioned about yeah, maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, although weather models are now uh, pushing a little bit more coming out of Salem and Eugene, so we'll watch uh, to see uh, those totals come tomorrow. All right, here's your dry time schedule Sunday night. Uh, I think Thursday is going to be pretty good, and uh, next week and it's looking like it's going to pan out to be a pretty dry week. For the most part, Sunday is going to be dry, but can't rule out maybe a couple spotty showers as I showed you there. So we'll go definitely for the afternoon in the early evening. Seven-day forecast there. We have some 50s in place. Warm and mild day on Tuesday, probably mid-50s, about 10 degrees above our average. Uh, that goes for Wednesday, too, until a cold front moves on through. That will cools down a little bit on Thursday and stabilize conditions a bit. And then we're back to some rain on Friday. Uh, but as I mentioned, Wayne, I think next week it looks pretty dry. And a little more sunny. We use some sunshine this week. We yeah, see much of it. Remarkable how how mild our temperatures have been all winter long so far. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. We're in.